These are the football players who almost died. First, we have a story of a player who was always hitting the target, but things went crazy when someone decided to target his entire family. In early 2021, Angel and his teammates at PSG were extremely happy. Something unexpected happened. In the first half, they were winning 1-0, which made everybody pretty hopeful. All of a sudden, in the 62nd minute, there was chaos because phones started ringing. Angel had to leave the game urgently because his family was in danger. Criminals had targeted his house, taking advantage of him not being there. Angel's wife and daughters were at home. The criminals broke in and kept them as hostages. They also took valuable things, including his jewelry collection worth $600,000. Then they got away quickly. Surprisingly, this wasn't the first time someone had tried to break into his house. Because he was worried about his family's safety, he had to hire security. It wasn't just his own life that was in danger now. His family was also at risk. But this time, his life was at risk, along with his whole team, including Lionel Messi. Imagine Argentina winning the Copa America, the Finalissima, and the World Cup. It was only a dream. During the World Cup qualifiers, Messi and the Argentina team went to Brazil for a really important match. Everyone was excited about it. They thought the worst thing that could happen was losing, but something even worse happened. They lost the match 3-0. After losing, the most important thing for them was to leave the country as quickly as possible. Instead of waiting for one of Messi's private planes, they all decided to get on a last-minute flight. The plane took off smoothly and the team was in the air, but this time, they didn't know who was flying the plane. After about four hours of flying to Buenos Aires, something unexpected happened. The usual trip turned into a dangerous situation. The plane didn't have enough fuel and could only fly for up to 20 minutes. The pilots only only had 18 minutes to find a place to land before something extremely bad happened. The plane started to shake and the pilots got extremely nervous. They asked for help using the radio. Finally, they found a place where they could land. They barely made it and landed the plane with a lot of tension. Messi and the other players got off the plane quickly. Even though they were scared, they had to continue their journey on a different plane. But little did they know that their change of plans ended up saving their lives. After the plane had refueled and took off again, something terrible happened. The plane crashed into a mountain and 75 people lost their lives. Messi and his team were extremely lucky. Compared to the fate of that plane, Messi losing that match was the best thing that could have happened. Even if you're the best players in history, things can go wrong. In 2017, Messi was getting ready for an important match. Barcelona was going up against Juventus in a big Champions League game, and everyone was looking forward to it. Juventus had already won the first part of the match 3-0, which made things tough for Messi. He knew he had to play really well or else they would lose. When Messi got onto the field, he was prepared for anything or at least he thought so. First half of the game was intense, with both teams fighting hard. They both wanted to win and go to the semifinals. They did their best, but no one scored any goals. As the first half was about to end, Messi gave his last attempt, but that move could have been really dangerous. Later, the doctors realized that if he had landed even a little bit differently, the injury could have been fatal. Although Barcelona ended up losing the game, Messi's luck was on his side that day, but this could be your lucky day as well. Go ahead and subscribe to our channel and we could give you a surprise. Neymar always dreamed of living a fast and exciting life. There was a car that he really liked, a red Ferrari Spider. When he got a big paycheck for the first time, the dude didn't wait. He spent 275 k on the Ferrari at the car store because he wanted to show it off and get a lot of likes on social media. But maybe he should have thought about the dangers of driving 200 miles per hour. On the day of a game a few weeks later, Neymar woke up to a ton of messages from his teammates. They wanted to get some extra practice in. Because he was in a hurry, Neymar forgot to check the weather, but got into his Ferrari and drove off. At the time, Neymar had a ton of things to worry about. No goals in six games, a court case that could send him to jail, but all of these became less important when he realized he hadn't changed his tires. It was raining heavily. Without expecting it, he found himself driving a damaged Ferrari. Fortunately, Neymar still made it to practice, even though his prized car took a hit. But Zlatan was hit neither by a car, nor lost a match. 
he was the target of a serial killer. Before attempting to harm a football legend's life, Peter Mengs had already become one of Sweden's most infamous killers. After a seven-year spree of crimes, he was caught, sentenced to life in prison, and details his actions in a book. One startling revelation was his sinister intentions towards Zlatan Ibrahimovic. In the 2000s, Zlatan became famous as a beloved athlete in Sweden. However, Peter saw him not as a sports icon but as an opportunity. Watching Zlatan closely, Peter aimed to exploit his fame. Zlatan's love for luxury cars, including a million dollar supercar, caught Peter's attention. One day, seeing Zlatan park his car in the street triggered Peter. He believed this was his chance to become known. His goal wasn't to damage the car, but damage Zlatan. Armed and dangerous, Peter returned to the scene, but Zlatan had already left. But Peter's plan failed, and he was eventually caught by the law, leading to a life in prison. Today, Zlatan Zlatan enjoys his life after retiring after 41 years, but this player's career could have ended when he was just 19. Thiago Silva's journey to become a top football player took him around the world, but his dream almost cost him his life. After a trip to Thailand, he got extremely sick. He had a hard time breathing and had to go to the hospital. The doctor said that there was some dangerous bacteria in his lungs. They gave him a tough choice. Get some medical help right away or have only two weeks left to live. The solution was to remove part of his lung. But that that would mean he couldn't play football anytime soon. Facing the really difficult decision, Tiago chose life and had the surgery. Even though his family understood why he did it, they knew he was struggling without football, which was a big part of who he was. Ignoring the advice of doctors, Tiago worked extremely hard and went right back to playing. He didn't give up and became one of the best defenders in football history. This proves that his decision was life-changing. We've all seen the billboards, arriving late is better than not arriving at all. But for Ronaldo, it's a different story. On January 8, 2009, an accident happened that changed his life. It was an unusual morning because his coach had asked for early practice after Manchester's recent sad loss. Ronaldo's teammates were counting on him, but he wasn't there. He had overslept, and when he finally woke up, he saw all the messages from his teammates. Ronaldo was committed to the game, so not going wasn't an option. He got in his car and tried to get there as fast as he could, but he didn't know that choosing that Ferrari would be a big mistake. The Ferrari got into an accident and was completely wrecked. Surprisingly, Ronaldo wasn't hurt at all. The accident made him think. He decided to focus all his energy on soccer and become the best player ever. It was a moment that changed everything for him.